Hey guys, it's Landon with Redefined Horizons, and this is another video in my set of videos on Inkscape 1.3. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through some basics of snapping in Inkscape. So snapping is uh, really important for precise drawing, and uh, especially if you're coming from a CAD environment to Inkscape, uh, you're going to want to know how snapping works. I don't think I'm going to be able to cover all the snapping um, settings and tools in Inkscape, but I will try and cover the basics. So um, in my Inkscape, uh, the snapping is up here in the top right corner. It's got this kind of little magnet shape. That is a quick way to toggle the snaps on and off. And then if you come over here and hit this little arrow, it actually lets you choose your snaps just like in, in CAD. Um, so what I'm going to do first is go over the uh, bounding box snaps. And then you have some options here. You can snap to edges, corners, edge midpoints, or centers. I normally work with all of those checked. So let's see how those work. So I've got just my regular 8.5 by 11 template open here with a, a tenth of an inch by a tenth of an inch grid. And I'm going to go ahead and create a couple of shapes here. And I'm going to get rid of the stroke. We'll come back and show you in a minute. Uh, the stroke does have an impact on your snapping. So I've got a circle here. This is the, the circle shape. But you can see the bounding box is shown here in this dotted line with the arrows around it. And that's the bounding box. And so if you have your bounding box snaps toggled on, it, it will snap to your bounding box. Um, and you can see right here, I've got it snapping to the grid and the guidelines. So as I move this around, um, you can see it it's snapping there. Um, well, it's at, that's actually the quadrant point, but it will snap to other points. Let's just turn off these other snaps so you guys can see that. Okay, so as I move around, right now it's grabbing the center of the bounding box and snapping it to the grid. Now, one thing that... that is a little bit different if you're coming from CAD environment is the snap that Inkscape gives priority will change depending on where you grab the shape. So if I grab near the center, it's going to give priority to that midpoint snap. If I grab down here at the edge, it's going to give priority to the midpoint of the edge. Okay, if I come down here and grab by the corner, it's going to give priority to the corner snap. Okay, so those are all snaps for the bounding boxes. Okay, and let me just draw an irregular uh, polygon shape so you guys can see a little better how those work. So you can see, even though the shape isn't drawn over here, it's still snapping there because that's my bounding box and I have the bounding box snap turned on. So for example, we could pull this over and snap it right there. Okay, so that's how the bounding box snaps work. Um, as a general rule, I leave that on, especially when I'm doing layout of a page. Uh, but then when I want to go in and start drawing uh, paths and other shapes, I generally will turn that off. And the reason why is because um, when you're aligning entities to each other, you usually don't want the bounding box snaps turned on. So... <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get into these other snaps here with the nodes. So I'm actually going to turn off my bounding box snaps. I'm going to turn on my node snaps. Okay, and for now I'm going to leave the grids on just so you can see how this works. But now when I grab this shape and move it, you can see it's identifying this is called a cusp node. Okay, an angle point in the shape. It's snapping there to the grid. Same thing if I move over here. Again, depending on where I grab the shape, it's going to give a different snap the priority. Okay, so those are your basic node snaps. Um, so I can come over here and do something like that. Okay, now let's draw another shape. I'm just going to draw a path. Oop. Let's give that path a stroke. So I can grab this shape now and move this cusp node to that endpoint, right? Which is, uh, in CAD it's called an endpoint, Inkscape calls it a cusp node. Okay, so you can see it'll snap to those. Now, 
Typically when you're lining up shape one shape to another, things work easier if you have your grid snap turned off. So I will typically take the grid snap off and that makes it a little easier to snap entities to each other. And you can see this is cusp node to path is kind of like your near snap in AutoCAD. So you can you can slide stuff along those edges. Same thing with the circle. You okay, know this doesn't this this doesn't have any <laughs> it doesn't have any any nodes on it, but it will give you the quadrant. You can see the quadrant is snapping there, right? These four quadrants on the circle. If I grab by the bottom, I'll get that the bottom quadrant snap. Okay, so those are how the nodes work. Uh, you can choose to do things like snap to path intersections or not. Um, you can choose whether you want to snap to smooth nodes. You can also do uh, choose if you want to snap to line midpoint. We should be able to get the midpoint of the line here. There it is, custom node line to midpoint. Okay, just like your midpoint snap in CAD. Um, so if you have more than one path, it'll find the intersection of your path, and you can snap to that. So if, if we want, we can put this node right there on the intersection. So uh, it's it's got really good functionality. Um, it's it's as good, basically as good as anything you have in CAD. All right, let's see. Um, it will also do perpendicular and, and tangential lines. Um, that isn't as intuitive to me as CAD, as in CAD, but it does work. So if I've got a circle here and I draw a path, it will give me, there's the tangent. Um, let's see if it will give us a perpendicular to the line. Yep, right there's the perpendicular. Okay, so that, that works similar to what you would see in CAD, right? Perpendicular or tangent. So those are part of the node snapping tools. Um, I think that's all I want to show you on the nodes. Let's go ahead and show you, you can also do um, object midpoints and rotations. So let me show you that. So now that I have that clicked, if I grab my circle, it'll give me, let me snap the midpoint of the circle, okay, which is handy. And it will also let you snap to rotation centers. So let me show you how that works. So in Inkscape, if you select once, you get these arrows that let you change the shape. If you click again, you get these curved arrows and it shows you this rotation center. So you can actually sap, snap to this rotation center. So if I move my rotation center down to the end there, actually that's not, let's, let's move it a little bit off. So now when I drag this, if I get close to that rotation center, it will actually snap the object based on the rotation center. Then I can click that again and rotate it around that point. So uh, though that is right here, you can choose to if you want to snap to object midpoints or rotation centers. Uh, they've got this other snap here for a uh, text, which is really important. So let's draw a text object. So we've got some text there that we can't read. So let's fix that. That should probably has a stroke applied. All right, so we've got some text here. Landon is super, super handsome. You can see it gives you this little baseline snap. So if you have that turned on in your snaps, it'll let you snap, snap your text to that. It will let you uh, uh, move your text and position it based on that uh, text anchor snap. Okay, so that is right here. Okay, and as a general rule, I like to have that on. And what I'm typically doing is aligning text to the grid. So what I'll do is I'll come in and say, hey, I want to snap to my grid, and then I can grab that text and move to the grid. That does not work well if you also have your bounding box snap turned on, because the text anchor on left or right justified text, that point is also very close to the bounding box. And so generally when I'm when I want to snap text to the grid, I will turn off my bounding box snaps. It just makes it a little bit easier. So just to show you guys, when you change your justification of your text, so if I go to center justified, it changes the location of that text anchor grid based on your justification. Okay, so right now I'm grabbing the grid. If I want to grab that intersection, I gotta turn off my grid snap. There you go, there, now it's on the intersection of those two paths. Okay, 
that's about all there is to snaps. I actually got most of it in one video. Um, I don't think there's anything else I want to add. That gives you the basics. So like I said, almost everything you have in CAD for entity snaps is also here in Inkscape. Um, so you can do your, your precision drawing.